in season, should I still be lifting weights that were sent via email? Absolutely, Jay. If you've put in the good work, which sounds like off-season, pre-season, it's all about in-season performance. So don't team. We do want to reduce your loads by about 30%. So let's say you're working four times a week, you might break down, down to three, uh, and you might do a little bit more total body training sessions to be able to maintain um, your muscle mass, but also to get good strength and power through the upper body, lower body, because ultimately we want to be your strong and powerful at the pointy end of the season, in season, uh, finals. So if you're training now, you're going to detrain or lose a lot of those, um, that progress you made pre-season and where you want to be your strongest and most powerful is when the game is most contested and most fierce and, and highest pressure in September. What recovery should I be doing after the game? Great question, Tex. Uh, firstly, we want to try and promote blood flow, so uh, making sure you don't you're not just sitting down, getting straight into the car for an, up, you know up to ninety minutes too. We're actually using the muscles and helping the blood flow move around the body. So go for um, some mobility, doing some light stretching, um, getting a mass. Massage. These are some really good things to promote blood flow. Um, going into an ice bath um, that is around 10 degrees, as well as going into, you might contrast that with a hot shower. So three minutes in the cold bath, three minutes in the hot shower, maybe two to three rounds of that, and that will just help, um, relax the nervous system. So we want to make sure we're calming that nervous system down and to hack the body and hack the nervous system is by using um, contrast temperatures. So going from extremely hot to extremely cold. What should I be doing the morning of a game? I usually play at 2 p.m. Same thing and, and pretty much pretty consistent with all the questions that have been sent through. It is very individual, your game day preparation, just like your recovery is. So practice matches are a great time, uh, Charlie, to experiment. So try some different methods, try some different things, speak to some senior players, see what works for the best for them, for their game. Um, but for some, it might just simply be going for a walk, uh, walk the dog that morning going for a light run, a light jog, a bike ride. Uh, others, it's just simply relaxing uh, with family and friends and taking their mind off the game. So it's finding a habit not only physically, so feel ready, but also mentally as well. So maybe going out for breakfast, um, going for a little footy with some mates, uh, having a routine that works well for you is, is the key. Our power this week on that note is our primer day. So what we typically do at Prepare Like a Pro on our online program the day before a game. And we'll split our athletes into different areas. We'll have our velocity players, so those that do a lot of high-speed running and high sprint efforts, like small forwards, small backs, they'll be doing velocity-based movements in the gym. So uh, that think like acceleration, um, med ball throws, and maybe some light pogos. So the session's pretty short. It goes for anywhere 15 to, to 20 minutes, and um, they're just getting uh, they're, they're practicing moving at a really, really fast pace. Uh, and we don't muck around with those movements too often. We keep them pretty consistent, so they're not going to have any muscles on us the next day going into the game. Pre-game lift, power lift, could definitely see v value on it. Um, I haven't tried it with footballers, as in pre-game the, on the day, uh, but there is some research in other sports that have, it's been quite effective. So why not try it out? I think you keep the volume right down. Uh, there definitely could be some post-activation potentiation effect, which is what we're trying to go for. Um, and if it feels like you, it helps your start in the game, then why not do a little bit of lifting? So, you know, either some, like I was talking about before, that power-based movement, so short explosive movements that aren't going to beat up the body too much, or even a, a, um, a heavy lift as well, like the bench press.